Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am bringing back the photo critique series where people send in photos for me to review and give a little bit of insight on maybe what they could have done better or the extra little bit of sauce that they're looking for to help get their images to the next level. Today we have Mata Works Photography that sent in a beautiful shot of a Dodge Viper. I love seeing the off camera flash. Let's dive into it and see what he did. Okay, so let's dive into this file. First things first, um, I love seeing off-camera flash be used. I think that's awesome, and it's done really well here. Silver generally is a little bit forgiving when you're strobing, but overall, awesome light on the car. It looks really good. Um, the, the first thing that jumps out to my eye, and let me get a layer set up here. The first thing that jumps out to my eye is the color flares that we have, this red and this blue color flare that we have on the ground. Um, it, I think the image could go without it. I think this could just kind of be a consistent like grayscale down here. Um, Cause for whatever reason it pulls our eye down there and it's not like the reflection sharp or anything. Um, I just don't know if it's necessarily needed. And I get this style of flaring, but what I'm thinking is like, it's nowhere else in our photo. It's not like, like we have glowing from the red tail lights coming on. Um, it's not like we have some blue flare light coming, making the whole background here blue. Like, so I'm just struggling with like this section here. So I would have loved to see, let's just do it really quick. I'm going to select it out really fast. I would have loved to see this be more like, you know, just not, not a color flare in there. Just kind of flat. Now my eye is only looking at the car. There's no reason for me to look at that ground, that floor. Um, my eye does not need to go there because there's not necessarily something that's happening in that in that part of the image. Um, another thing I would say is um, I do love the stance of the car. I love the angle. I love how like beefy the back end is here. It's probably a little distorted, but I think that's a good thing because it, it's just giving it a little bit of drama. Um, I would have loved to see maybe a little bit more room on your edges right it seems like a little suffocating that, that's a that's a bad term it's not suffocating but i would have loved to see a little bit more space here and maybe you did this because maybe you plan on using it on instagram and the car needs to be closer whatever maybe you cropped in a little bit but just as far as like composition goes um if we're going to include this wheel with a little bit of light i would have loved to see the whole wheel not the not it chopped off. I would love to see the whole wheel in that shot. And also I would have loved to see the frame a little bit further, like maybe another inch, maybe another inch to the right. Um, let's just see, like we could probably do like a quick generative expand. Let's see if this will work. I haven't done this too much, this generative expand. So it will be fun practice. Um, so I think if we can generative expand that. Yeah, okay. So you get the idea right now the whole wheel is in the shot let's circle it here for you guys to see it now the whole wheel is kind of in the shot i gotta make this layer above that now the whole wheel is kind of in the shot and honestly it should be a little bit more room over there over here should have a little bit more room than this expand but this gives you a good idea um forget about like this not doing the best job but this gives you this gives you space this this lets you just utilize and see the space that i'm talking about it gives a little bit more breathing room um to to the image to weigh out the composition right you're not so close to the edge of that frame um I, now personally like i don't know what was over there maybe something was over there that like was very ugly looking you're like hey let me just crop in real quick and get there so um i get i get it like why maybe that had to happen but if it was nice and blank and that didn't need to happen um just think about that for the next time another thing i'll say is um I really like the subtle detail that you have in the tires here. I like the light here overall. It, maybe it could have used a quarter of a stop. Maybe it could have used a quarter of a stop higher on the, the actual rim, like if you went over there with the softbox and lit that in. But generally, I like it. It doesn't take your eye too away from the car too much. It's it's there. But, um, you know, also... It, does this wheel have any relation to like anything on the car? It doesn't look like it's the same wheel. So like, could there have been a case for this wheel 
to like are, are they the same brand is it like a wheel brand advertisement right okay then i understand but if it's not like that third this third wheel could have went on its back and been like a third tire here like that and like that and then it would give your photo a little bit of like interesting area for like the light to come through or whatever but um yeah that's another thing to think about not the end of the world like i think it's fine um the other thing i'll say is i would have probably just because it's not like there's anything interesting up there i would have probably th threw this on a soft light i would have grabbed a transparent um black and i would have just pulled down on my ceiling a little bit and did something like that now you can see how that just like channels like there there's nothing up in that ceiling that we need right but so like let's have it subtly maybe that's a little too much maybe you want to go like 65 percent or something but like let's just subtly push our eye back towards a car we don't need to see the support beams and stuff up there not saying that we need to go black like we need to know that there's a roof on there still that's fine but um something like that to like maybe buy the interest back towards a car we our eye doesn't need to go up there um so yeah that's a couple of things um also i'd say i i don't know if like you tried to put a little bit of smoke in here there's something there's something going on like right here um if that's smoke generally try to like when you're messing with smoke layers try to like have it look at the smoke where's the brightest spot in the smoke that's where you have to have it coming from the light then because that's how the smoke was lit so like if that's the case there should be probably like some smoke here that's like going up into the garage maybe up into the wheels and then like maybe it's like cutting here and making like the shadow line a little softer and like smoky maybe there's a little bit right here maybe there's some interacting with the car a little bit but like correct me if i'm wrong like to only have it right here whatever's going on here um you know i would have liked to see that carry on throughout the image a little bit better um other than that like it's an awesome shot there's a lot of people that are afraid to not afraid might be a bad term but they don't want to go down into the off-camera flash it's intimidating and it's very difficult and the light you got here on the car is very very solid um you should be really excited about the light that you got on the car so um awesome that's like the main part of this battle these other things are very small fixes so you should be you should be very happy with the shot you're coming away with here um but yeah so that will wrap this one up this one was pretty simple i mean i, I love the shot I'm getting very in the weeds and very in the detail here for you guys, trying to pull out little things because when you come away with an image like this, it's a tiny couple little decisions that can take it to that next level. Um, so, you know, I'm getting nitpicky and sometimes the nitpicky stuff is subjective. I try to not be subjective, but um, sometimes it can be. So, you know, just keep that in mind and I'm trying to get us all to grow here um, as image per image, basically. So, yeah, awesome job, um, and I'm looking forward to getting to the next one. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to pump at least one of these out every week. I would love to do one of the vlogs that you guys seen me do with the 488 Spider and one of these at least each week. So it would be two videos a week. We'll hopefully I can actually keep up that speed. We'll see how quickly I can break that. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody that also sent something in. I think I'm sitting at like 30 images, so that's awesome. That gives me 30 videos to get out for you guys. So I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to give back to you guys and I look forward to it. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. If, um, this is something you're into and you are a car lover and, and, or a photography lover, smash the like button, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.